Hey, what's up guys? Brian, BS Bass, and hey, today I'm gonna show you how I made a dual mount for my console. I'm gonna be running two HDS7s on it, Gen 3s, I know they're a little older, but uh, I made this, it'll work for the Carbons as well that just came out, and I made my mount a little bit bigger so it can accommodate a HDS9 unit. So I wanna show you how I did it, uh, why I did it. Obviously, everybody wants more graphs, you know, be able to see more things while they're fishing, so uh, you know, you're shooting across that lake, you're going pretty quick. Uh, you need as much room of the map and your sonar or your depth to see, you know, so you don't have any accidents like I've had in the past. But uh, hey, I'm going to show you guys how I made this mount. Uh, hopefully you like it. And uh, if you want to drop any comments below, I'd be more than happy to uh, try to help you make one or make one for you or anything like that. You know, uh, it's nothing patented, no copyrights or anything. It's just basic, you know, machining some plates and putting them together so anyways i hope you guys enjoy this episode of bs bassin hey guys this is the plate that's going to mount to my console and as you can see there's both there's holes around the perimeter as well as six holes across the top section and then two holes towards the center of it the holes in the center with the grommets around them those are actually going to be for the wiring to the sonars to come through these perimeter holes here those are going to be to mount to the console itself and then these six holes here are going to be for the spacers and bracket that actually hold the uh, the head units to them uh, to go through and I'll show you how, you how those guys how that goes later Ugh, can't talk here uh, second I did put some I painted it black I put a decal on it I had a friend make that decal for me uh, and then I put some satin clear on it hope you guys like the satin clear it doesn't give off a bad glare uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sheen, but it's not a super high gloss that's going to kind of affect me while I'm driving because this section here will actually be pretty visible while I'm driving and you know, any glare coming off of that while you're driving could get in your, get in your eyes. And So guys, what I did was I actually centered up my plate. I put some tape down, I centered the tape, made marks on the tape, top and bottom, and then I put tape on my mount and marked it top and bottom, and then I taped it center you know I lined those marks up top and bottom I taped it to my console so that it should be perfectly level then I drilled all the holes through it all the way around what that there allowed me to do was where the six bolts that mount and hold my second part of my bracket up I don't need to drill a bigger hole for the nut to go on the back and then just mount it to the mount I'm actually going to use a longer bolt and actually that'll help support the, the bracket that goes across the console and I'll use a washer in the back and then a nut on that so I will actually have five of the six holes will actually be supporting that plate to be mounted more securely on my console right now I only have wiring for one uh, fish finder to come through here I have to add one uh, I will do that I'm not going to get into that in this video but I'll come back to you guys when that is done but again you can see where the perimeter bolts are our perimeter holes are for the screws those will be a number 10 one inch sheet metal screw they're all pre-drilled and then these here I want to say they're a quarter inch for a quarter 20 or a quarter 28 uh, thread to go through and the one in the middle will not touch that one just didn't touch but I had an HDS 7 gen 3 unit flush mounted here so that's removed obviously and that's what's going to cover it I'm going to be supporting it this whole length so I do feel I've got plenty of support here I'm gonna use some goo gone I'm gonna clean up this console I'm gonna get everything looking good and then I'll actually be able to mount my plate to the console all right guys so I have all the cables through everything's out of the way I have two screws in there this is gonna allow me to mount all the other bolts around the perimeter of the plate that is mounted to my console Alright guys, our plate is secure to the console. I guarantee this is not going to move. I mean, I'm, I'm pulling on this, I can feel my boat shaking. The entire boat, nothing, not the plate to the console. So I know that that is secured, it is very good. One thing to note, if you are going to use an impact driver to do this, this is a fiberglass console. If you drive those down and you, you go crazy on them, it's going to crack the fiberglass, it's going to strip the screw out. You'll probably get some spidering outside of there. So just be careful, be conscious of what you're drilling into. Hey guys, 
these are the spacers that I made for this. This is going to go in between the top plate that my sonar brackets mount to, or my head unit brackets mount to, and the plate itself. It will get sandwiched together a little bit, but uh, all it is is a piece, of, a round material of aluminum that has a one quarter inch hole drilled through it. All right, guys. So here's the plate that I am mounting the head unit mounts to. This goes across it. It's going to have the spacers behind it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run these two screws, which again, I don't know if you can see there, I uh, I did paint the heads of these so that when they sit in here, they will be black. And uh, if you look real close, the mounting pattern for my head units that's going to, or the brackets for the head units on here, is actually offset closer to the top of the bracket. So that's one thing to pay attention to if you're going to put one of these together. Make sure that your spacing is really good and you measured it for the for the right reason. This is actually because the mount itself is offset so that is right where I want it. It's not a mistake on my part. And what I did here too, I countersunk the holes that these screws go through so that it'll sit flush across the top. Here you go guys you can see through the plate the two spacers in the back. I will put the other four spacers once I get these two started. Alright guys so what I have here is I have my plate, I have all six of my spacers behind my plate and what you could see is these two bolts on both sides are not painted they're going to be covered up by our mounts. Alright guys so if you look here I have my plate mounted to my console, I have the spacers and then also the plate that the head unit mounts mount to, those are here. My last step is I'm going to put some Loctite on the screws that actually hold these in. I'm going to screw these in then I'll put my two units, I'll power them on and make sure everything looks good. Alright guys, I got my two sonars or my two head units up here. Uh, one thing you may you may not know is this one is a brand new one. It does not have a screen protector on it. This one has the tuck protect anti-glare on it. I'm going to fire up my power right now. We're going to turn them both on. So I don't know if you can see a difference here now guys, but uh, this one should be a little bit more dull than that one. I don't see my lights on it. I do have them tipped up one one uh, click so that you guys can see a little bit better than me. Uh, I hope you guys like the mount that I put on. Uh, you know, as you can see, the, the two bolts in the center are black. Uh, I really like it. If you guys like it, you want something like this, uh, hit me up, shoot me a comment. Uh, I'll send you my email. So, uh, you know, give me a PM. Thanks again for watching BS Bassin. Mm -hmm.